Hey everybody, welcome back to the We YouTube channel. Today I have a special guest in the studio. Kyle, thanks for being here. Love being here. <laughs> we introduced Kyle over on the Civivi YouTube channel in the, the video for the uh, conspirator that just got put up. So um, you can jump over there for an introduction. But uh, long story short, Kyle's working with us on a part time basis and we get to have him here in the studio to help us with some of our videos from time to time. So yeah, you'll see me in videos, see me in shows, stuff like that. So yeah. He's gonna be uh, he's gonna be in the comments sections as well on our social media stuff, so you guys can uh, you guys can chat with Kyle a little bit. Um, we'll we'll have him put his his little tag Cougar Kyle or something, so that you know you're talking to him. Perfect. <laughs> that works. All right, uh, we've got a brand new knife to talk about today. This is a really exciting, cool design from Eric Oaks. This is the Curvaceous. It had been called the Persian in uh, some other videos, but the name got changed to the Curvaceous. Um, you can see why um, it has with those beautiful lines. Uh, Kyle, we have three versions of the Curvaceous that are going to be available at the end of March when this thing launches. So it's uh, really soon, it's gonna be coming out here soon. Um, an Eric Oaks design. Tell us a little bit, because Kyle is a wealth of knowledge in the knife industry, guys. He's been doing this for a long time. He knows a lot more than I do about the designers and, and um, just knives in general, to, to be honest. But uh, tell us a little bit about the origins of this knife and Eric. So there's always obviously more I can learn, but from, from what I understand is looking on like his customs and stuff like that, a lot of his customs will go for a few hundred dollars and a thousand dollars on the secondary market and they're full on customs. So the cool thing about this design is that now you're able to get one of his designs in a production model. Yeah. And it's also coming from Wii, so you still know it's gonna be super good quality, super high in finishes, some cool details, very cool details. Like, you have these little milling marks on this knife. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's crazy. I, I, I love it, man. Um, can we say that, can we say that this is a, a custom production? Custom production, yeah, like exactly <laughs> what it would be, right? Or a production custom. There's a lot of details that you can get when you get like the custom knives. Like even like with this grind right here, you have a hollow grind that's coming from here and then it goes to a flat, so yeah. to a flat grind, which is machine wise, it's it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's beautiful. The, the I love the grinds on this blade um, with the, the swedge on the top, that little little bit there. Uh, just beautiful lines on this on this uh, again like you said the hollow grind to the flat grind on the point um kind of like a like a tanto style but not tanto yeah um it's the, with that persian shape to it and then the handle on this thing um guys when you put your hand in this it it pulls your hand in and you get such a firm good solid grip on this thing um and yet what i noticed at the shot show when we were showing the prototypes of this it fit almost everybody's hand, regardless of the size, which I thought was really, really cool, um, based on the way that it kind of um, swoops down at the back there. I don't, know, I don't know how it worked, but people with small hands, big hands, everybody said the same thing. Man, that just really fits my hand. No, for sure, because he kind of has you like right here on this part of the blade, uh, the handle. You have your index finger that's going in, it, and then the rest of this handle right here is just for those other three fingers, and just snuggles right up in there it does it <laughs> snuggles it snuggles it's it spoons your hand <laughs> it's it's really nice um we've got a, a nice titanium backspacer here um that's uh, just just rounded on the edges or beveled it, it fits in there beautifully um so we've got a titanium uh, bolster lock on this knife so we, we've got a few different versions this one that, I, that i've got right here has got the carbon fiber um layer on there and i got the green Green micarta with the black ti black titanium. Yep, and then there is the natural titanium. Uh, sorry, natural G10 with the black titanium, and it's a 20 CV blade steel on all of these. So premium materials um, on the production custom by Eric Oaks. Um, Eric's a good dude. I I talked with Eric. Actually, he showed me a prototype of this at Blade Show in Atlanta last oh, June, cool. and I didn't know anything about it at the time. He walks up and he's like, "Hey." <laughs> Do you know when my knife's coming out? And I'm like, what knife? What? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? And he pulls out this this prototype and shows it to me, and I'm I'm like, holy cow! Like that's that thing is sweet. No, I have no idea when it's coming out, <laughs> but it's coming out now. So you guys can pick this up in uh, at the end of the month. Yeah. I guess I guess the real takeaway for for me 
is this this is a very very comfortable knife that feels really good in the hand it's a large knife um, and it's very very usable like it it feels like it's just ready to be put to work yeah um, let's jump into the specs the overall length on the curvaceous is 8.5 inches it's got a blade length of 3.7 inches a beautiful Persian blade 3.7 inches the closed length is 4.8 inches and the handle thickness is 0.51 inches the blade thickness is 0.16 inches so it's got a little bit uh, heavier blade stock but using that hollow grind comes down to a really nice slicey edge the weight on the curvaceous is going to be 5.3 ounces and may vary just a hair between the carbon fiber g10 and micarta versions all right, guys, the price on the Curvaceous is going to be, the MSRP is going to be $350 for the Micarta and the Natural G10. The carbon fiber version is a little more, comes in at an MSRP of right around $375. You will see those for a little bit less than that at dealers. So, Kyle, is this one going in your collection? This one could possibly end up in the collection, maybe for a little bit. For a little bit? Just for a little bit. <laughs> Get my hands on it, pocket it a little bit, and then end up doing something else with it. Who knows? Give it to a friend. Gotcha. I like it. Um, I, I do love the idea of, I love it when we get these customs turned production. Yes. Um, and something that you guys got to know, these aren't always, uh, these customs turned production knives are not always evergreen products for us. <laughs> and it's nice because you're not spending or you're not spending a lot of money on like a product like a custom knife and or hard to get type of mm -hmm. knife, right? With these ones, if it is a production for a small amount of time, which is nice because then you can get your hands on one and see if you like them to actually maybe build up to a custom knife. Well guys, we hope you like this curvaceous knife. Um, stay tuned for the next video. And then we'll see you guys in the next one. There's a lot of nexts. <laughs>